What's happening guys, Evan Taxorius. Welcome to Setup Wars episode 161, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys wanna participate, make sure to watch the video link down below. But with that said, let the Setup Wars begin. The Corsair 1 i40 and i60 gaming PC is incredibly fast with Intel's 9th gen 8 core processor, up to an RTX 2080 Ti graphics card and 32 gigabytes of Vengeance LPX RAM. All packed inside a compact bead blasted aluminum shell with excellent cooling. Both CPU and GPU are cooled using a patented assisted convection liquid cooling system, achieving higher clock speeds, lower temperatures and minimal noise. With Corsair's advanced IQ software, you can configure the system's fan, monitor system performance and personalize your lighting. To learn more, click the link below. Kicking off the episode is a very clean dual monitor setup from Dennis that is used for only video editing apparently. He's rocking two beautiful 27 inch 4K monitors from LG that are mounted on his custom made desk which is being supported by two Alex drawers. So apparently it took him two years to build this setup and the Ikea drawers were an accidental purchase. He meant to grab white ones so that it matches the theme of the setup. At least that's what he says in the notes. If that was the case, why not go with the white version of the View 27 tower? The front panel is black and it would match the other black accents and the gear in his setup. So in a way, the black drawers kind of worked out because it gives the setup a nice contrast. I think the pink LED accents from the keyboard, mouse, the wallpaper, and even the RGB strips give the setup a nice glow and it makes it stand out more instead of sticking to only two colors. He does have only one source of audio, which are the Yamaha HS5 speakers. I personally would have rotated them a little more towards the center, but I know why he did it that way, so it looks seamless with the monitors. No drilling in the desk for the keyboard and mouse, which is fine, but the rest of the cables underneath the desk are managed well, thanks to the Signum rack and a few zip ties. What I would do to clean up those wires hanging down is by grouping them up together with some Velcro straps and tying them with the monitor mount. The PC pushing all those pixels is a beast. We got the Ryzen 7 1700 at 3.8 GHz, 32 gigs of RAM, and the Gigabyte GTX 1080. I would have personally took advantage of that awesome side panel and go with some custom sleeve cables, but it's still a clean looking PC and a clean setup. Thank you, Dennis, for starting off the show. Speaking of clean setups, we have Felix from Germany and his triple monitor gaming and editing setup. We have three 24 inch monitors hooked up to the desk and the Logitech Z333 speakers mounted against the wall. It's obvious that Felix wanted to go with a minimalistic setup, hence why he opted for wireless peripherals. Also, he does have a glass top, so he probably didn't want to drill any holes through it. Aside from the speakers, he does use the JBL headphones, and we also got a Rode NT-USB microphone, which he stores in the shelf right by him. This setup definitely has a lot of storage space, and I like how he added lighting in different areas in order to spice it up. Otherwise, it will look pretty bland with all of that furniture. The PC powering the setup, unfortunately, is on the ground, and it's rocking the 3770K, 8 gigs of RAM, and the GTX 1050 Ti. I'm actually surprised that the 1050 Ti is able to push those three monitors. I'm also kind of confused with the fan layout in the case. You have the bottom fan as intake, but the top fan on the radiator is exhaust, while you have two additional fans on the top as exhaust as well. There isn't any positive airflow in this case. I personally would have switched the fan on the radiator the other way so that it pulls in fresh air from outside. Other than the PC build, it's a pretty solid setup. Thank you, Felix, for entering. Changing gears a bit, we got Nate and his insane battle station that he uses for pretty much everything from editing, streaming, photography, and of course, gaming. Fun little fact, he actually calls this setup Circuit Breaker because he blew his circuit breaker three times with this setup, damn. Okay, I gotta be the first one to say that the desk does not go with this setup, unfortunately. When you first look at the setup, your eyes are drawn to all those awesome displays, and then the excitement kind of dies down as you shift towards the bottom half. I would have easily thrown in a couple egg back and tops and some Alex drawers as support if this was my setup, but everyone has their own preference. There's actually a lot of questionable things about this setup, which we will get into, but first let's check out the first setup. So we got two massive curved 55 inch TVs from Samsung as overhead, and below that we got three 27 inch monitors mounted against the desk. Below that, he's rocking the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 and the Abyssus Mirror Gaming Mouse. I'm assuming this setup is the one he uses for editing, judging by the mixer and the audio gear. He's also using the DT990 Pros and the PreSonus speakers for monitoring audio. And he actually has the same pair of those speakers for his other setup. 
Okay, for the first setup, he's using a Shure microphone while the other setup has a Blue Yeti. And moving on to the other setup is where you'll start to see some questionable choices. First off, the display setup is a little different. We have a curved 55 inch TV in the center that's sandwiched by two ultra wides in vertical mode. And below that, we have another set of three 24 inch monitors. You know, I'm starting to believe that this guy works for NASA or CIA or something. What could he possibly use all those monitors for? He's got to be spying on some people with that. I mean, he's even got maps and pictures of Earth. Should we be worried? Anyway, so here's the interesting part. So he's using a Razer Black Widow Chroma and a $13 Viotech gaming mouse. I just find it odd that he couldn't spend a little more and buy a better mouse. This setup is the most expensive out of the two after all, which he apparently uses for gaming. And then we got the PCs, which are tucked away in the corner. Now I'm not really sure which PC is used for what setup because the specs are quite interesting. So check this out. The PC tucked away in the back is equipped with a Threadripper 1950X clocked at 4 gigahertz. We got 64 gigs of RAM and two different GPUs. He's got a 1080 Ti up top and a GTX 1070 on the bottom from Asus. He's not able to use them in SLI, so both GPUs are running independently, which makes sense since he is outputting to six displays. Some things I noticed about this build is the fan layout. So first off, the PSU is upside down, and then we have the fans mounted on top of the radiator instead of underneath it. So I'm kind of curious as to why he went with this configuration. At first, I thought this PC was probably his editing rig, judging by the processor and the amount of RAM. But then I looked at the specs of the PC that's in front of that one and kind of got confused. The PC in the front has a Ryzen 7 1700 at 3.9GHz. We got 16 gigs of RAM and two different GPUs as well. We got a 1050Ti and a GTX 770. The first PC has a way better GPU, so it's kind of confusing which one he uses for editing and which one he uses for gaming. I would have used the first PC for gaming since it has a GTX 1080 Ti, but then that's the PC that has the Threadripper and 64 gigs of RAM, so it's kind of confusing. The cables are hidden from both setups thanks to the massive backboards, and that pretty much does it for this command center. I do see a lot of potential in this setup, but sadly it's overshadowed by some poor choices. Regardless, thank you Nate for entering. Now here is a beautiful custom made setup by Sasha from Germany. It's used mainly for gaming and photo editing and I gotta say the first thing that caught my attention isn't the backdrop, it's actually that wallpaper he has on the entire wall. It's pretty unique and I feel like it ties in the setup perfectly. On that beautifully made backboard, we have a 35 inch monitor which is sandwiched by two Behringer speakers and I really like how he kept the surface really clean and minimalistic. He's only got a keyboard and mouse which he drilled a hole for and that's about it. Everything else is mounted on the backboard. Sasha also did a great job keeping everything symmetrical and the white on red contrast was a great choice. So it looks like majority of the cables are routed through the wall and the cables that need to be plugged into the PC are wrapped into a spiral sleeve. I gotta say, I do love how the PC has its own little island off to the side. We got a Ryzen 7 in here with 16 gigs of RAM and the Asus GTX 1070 Strix. This is a really creative and super clean Harley Quinn setup. I mean, it has personality, symmetry, purpose, and creativity. I would say it's seal of approval worthy had the PC been mounted on a wall shelf closer to this setup. I feel like that spiral cable coming out of the setup takes points off, but either way, it's a kick-ass setup. Thank you, Sasha, for entering. Wrapping up the episode is Simon and his dual stacked monitor setup. So he's got a 29 inch ultra wide from LG on the bottom and a 27 inch up top. You know, some people have risers in their setups but don't really take advantage of it, which is why I like how Simon uses it in this setup. He put a USB hub there and routed his cables underneath it. Personally, I feel like there's a lot going on here with the cables. Drilling a hole in the desk would really clean everything up since you have an RGB mouse pad as well. But I get it, not many people want a permanent hole in their desks. You can also mount the USB hub underneath the desk using some 3M tape if you really want to clean up the surface a bit. For audio, he's rocking a pair of Mackie CR4 speakers and these Sennheiser HD25 headphones which are resting on the speakers. The cables are decent underneath the desk. He did put an effort to mount the power strips underneath the desk and he even used some cable clips to wrap the cables. But I feel like a Signum rack would be ideal here. I would also try and velcro the cables above the setup and route them underneath the desk so it's not as visible. The PC power of the setup has the 2700X at 4.1 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM, and the MSI GTX 1060. I feel like this setup is all over the place and can be tidied up easily if the cables are cleaned up a bit, but it's a great start nonetheless. Thank you, Simon, for entering. And that wraps up this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys vote in the comments below on who has the best desk setup. And I'll announce the winners on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love your faces. Drop a like if you enjoyed the show and a dislike if you didn't enjoy it. And I will see you in the next one.